Not bad. With a little welding, they'll be able to use that door again. Next time I'll try a bit less plastic explosive. Hold down the damage and minimize the noise, too. This is very nice craftsmanship for a small bank. Another inch of steel and I would have been up against it. Hello, one and all. How many do we have today? 72, 84, 96? At five seconds apiece. That would come out to... Eight minutes for the lot. Starting now. Twelve seconds off. All thanks to number 2B sticking. And I'll bet it's full of custom jewelry. Well, doesn't matter. I got quite a haul anyway, from the looks of it. But, what's this? Number 2B. That figures. The sticky ones are never worth the trouble. Barney must have told me that a hundred times. I wish old Barney were here right now. Maybe he is, sort of looking over my shoulder. This is the police! Come out with your hands up! We have you completely surrounded! Huh? What do you mean surrounded? There are only two cops in the whole town! And what are you doing here? You never leave the donut hut earlier than 11.30! The joke's on you, you stupid crook! Robbie's seeing a new woman! So he just went on a diet! Shut up, you idiot! Hey, do you guys know if they're still enforcing that three strikes in your outlaw in this state? That's right, scumbag. We don't tolerate your kind of California. I can't end up like Barney dying in the slammer. Better to go out in a blaze of gunfire. But just in case a miracle happens and I make it out of here alive, I better disguise my face. And I swear on Barney's grave that if I do find a way out of this, then I'm getting as far away from this state as possible and going straight. Keep yourself up! There's no way out of there! Come on, yeah, we'll play cops and robbers! In there, done that. But I seem to remember some kind of oath on Blarney's stone to get as far out of this state of existence as possible. And go straight to hell in a handbasket. Ribbit. Hang on, Robbie! Why the alarm, Sentry? We got an intruder, Sarge! Up there on level 13! Anyone legit would've come past me and signed in, right? Careful, men. This may be another one of those demons escaped from the Vortex. General Blair! Sorry to disturb you, sir. Awaiting further orders, sir. You want an order, Sergeant? How about fall in? General Blair! This is the story of General Blair, a man who has seen too much. As a result, he's lost the will to make a decision, and therefore the ability to command his men. His psychiatrist suggests that this depression is a result of repressed anger, an inner struggle between Blair's id, ego, and superego. But the general knows better. It's the world that's crazy and splintering apart, not him. In fact, his psychiatrist's Freudian analysis can more aptly be applied to the three troubled cities at the heart of this country's problems. With Steel Harbor as id, Arcadia as ego, and Golden City as superego. They are the three centers of humanity in General Blair's world, divided and at odds with one another and losing the battle against the alien environment known as the Vortex, which represents chaos and utter destruction. And as General Blair's grandpappy, the Colonel, used to say, if you can't beat him, join him. Awesome. The general just took the nest tea plunge. Hey, Sarge, we don't have to obey that last command, do we? Shut up, Stengel. They'll say I was crazy, but nothing has made sense since this infernal doorway to hell opened up. I can just see the expression on Snyder's face when he hears about this. Have you ever heard of a leap of faith, General? We can take one together, you know. I'll believe in you if you believe in me. Get the chief of staff on the phone for me, Karen. He was right. Blair must be relieved of his command immediately. I wish we could have taken this leap together, Snyder. We did have one thing in common, though. You didn't believe in me, and I didn't believe in me either. Ahoy! A stowaway, is it? Run away from home, little boy? Well, so am I. This is a lot like a Mark Twain story, eh? Well, you know what Aunt Polly said. Spare the paddle, spoil the child. So get paddling, Junior. I'm your captain, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and give a yank on that string behind you too, young Will. See here, man. 
this boat is motorized and why were you having me? You simply cannot beat an Evan Rude. <coughs> Land ho, Mr. Christian! Drop anchor! Look out! Come on, come on! Ah! Ah! Dread the luck! Who took the bait? I'll take the bait, you demon from hell! Wait a minute! Now I remember where I put the bait! Young to Papa Wiggly. Ugh, I'll never understand how worms can be stuck with a hook and still live. It boggles the mind. Yeah, I've got a live one here. At least I hope it's a live one. I hate it when one of my legs go dead. Oh yeah, this one's got lots of kick left in it. Where was all that energy when I was trying to learn to square dance, you creep? Here you go, Serge. Uh, thanks? Ah, that's better. Two legs. No waiting. Ouch, 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 ouch! Whew, that's better. Now that I'm whole again, it's time to keep my promise to Barney and go straight. But this looks like some kind of military installation, so I'd better pull one more minor heist before I quit for good. Check me out, Barney. I'm Sergeant Rock. <laughs> Who says nothing's easy in easy company? Yes, it was General Blair! He threw himself into the vortex and then came back out with some kind of demon! No, the captain already called Dr. Snyder. He's on his way. Snyder? Come on, man! Let's get the snot out of this freak! Snot? Hey, don't forget you asked for it by name. <laughs> David. Wake up, David. Come on, this is really important. What is it this time, Zero? Because if it's not the end of the world, I've got an algebra exam tomorrow. Okay, I'm dressed and on my way. Now what's the big deal? The base is under attack by some kind of intruder. And this intruder came out of the vortex, right? No problem. We've stopped plenty of these glorified sea monkeys in the past. Let's do it again, Zero. Your wish is my command, David. Hey, buddy, what goes on around here? <coughs> well, I hear there was an intruder. Uh, an intruder at the military base. <laughs> Over yonder, big fella. Thanks, citizen. Whew, that was a close one. I thought for a minute there that he was gonna drive me into the ground like a... Railroad! Like! Thought you could fool me, huh? Well, I pretend since I twist your ugly head off. You're only saying that because you know I can't reach my change. Say, you're not really that big after all. Is that your limit? Measly 50 feet? 50 feet nothing! My name is Hero Zero, pal, and I go from zero to 300 feet if I feel like it. Yeah, well that's pretty hard to believe from this angle, Shorty. Don't listen to him, David. He's just trying to- Shorty? I'll show you who's short, you little creep! How does the ground look from this angle, wise guy? Notice it getting farther and farther away? Achoo! Gazoon type. Hey, where'd he go? He got slippery all of a sudden and then he- Oh, yuck. I tried to warn you, David. I think he climbed inside our armor. Oh no, not that. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Don't tickle me! <laughs> I can't stand it! No! No, no! Please stop! Please stop! Oh, oh, I can't take being tickled! <laughs> My only weakness! <laughs> I'm so lightheaded that after a very few minutes, I. <laughs> pass! Pass! Out! What? What the hell? You think that was bad? You should have been at Ground Hero Zero. And I really mean that you should have been there, Sydney. Huh? Do, do I know you? P put me down! W what do you think you're doing? It's my turn to shrink your head, Sid. The hard way. I'll believe in you if you believe in me. <gasps> Blair! That was merely the first of seven mystical shafts designed to neutralize your energy aura, demon. Do not force me to unleash the other six. You get right to the point, don't you? But check this out. How are you gonna hit me when I got these Fred Astaire moves? Ha! Know that you have provoked King Tiger with your obscene display, evil one. And in the process brought about your own destruction. Don't stop till you've had enough. How's this for a target, Tiger Queen? Nah, 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 nah. <gasps> oh, feel weird. Power. Draining away! The beast is dead. Never again will the forces of darkness dare to mark the powers of goodness and light. Hey now, you stinker. 